hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall again today i'm going to show you how you can use your checkpoint evolution license for your labs uh, how you can import a license from the cli for that you need to go to the uh, checkpoint firewall site and then you need to sign in with your account uh, basically if you don't have a sign in account you need to go and register yourself using the sign up option so if you click that sign up option you will uh, create your own account let me show you uh, how you can you know import a license from the uh, web ui as well uh, first you need to log into the uh, web ui there is some option present uh, if your account is locked out or the evolution license is got expired uh, you can use this option as well so if you uh, come to the uh, uh, all, all the way to the bottom to the user management there is something called uh, sorry in maintenance there is something called license status so if you see there is something called offline activation so here you can you know add your license file if your uh, demo license has got expired so this is kind of uh, uh you know handy when you having trouble to log into your sms so guys from here you need to put your details and uh, once that is done you just have to log in with your username and the password the way i'm logging so just log in to the your checkpoint account so i have already the video uh, mentioning all these details how you can fill the your create your own account that's why I'm not covering that part. So this is what you will see once you have your details in place. I have put it my dummy uh, number, you uh, like a telephone number. You can use your own number here, and you put the details as I can, you know, show you. I mean, you can see on 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 your screen. So put these details and create your accounts, and once that is done, you will direct it to this page. Uh, from here uh, you need to create one more account for your license part so uh, for that uh, you need to go to the uh, the next page uh, which they call uh, the license evolution page or there you need to create your own account and uh, on that account you need to uh, have to provide your company details so uh, and it's it's something like whenever you register your account with the checkpoint how you will uh, this is the way you will get the uh, things uh, over there yeah so the uh, this is a uh, all-in-one evolution so all uh, the blade model license will be covered in uh, one license if you select this option uh, and there is something called uh, other evolution option where you will select a uh, specific deployment option like if you have a VSX, MDS or whatever the uh, special configuration uh, with your lab or with your gateway you can generate a license for that from this even the cloud also cloud guard so whichever the license uh, you need to have you can go ahead uh, with the other evolution option and from there uh, you need to pick the uh, license details so this is all all about the other evolution option uh, so now let's uh, go back again and let's click next and here you will see the product evolution information uh, here you have to so here you have to put a user center account details uh, as I said uh, this is also the account what we need to create so uh, uh, let create this account and come back to this page so that uh, with the reference of this we will you know have uh, uh, details in place for the licensing purpose for that go to the asset information and from here go to the product center and for there you have to uh, 
it will ask you to you know create one account so here you have to create your own account uh, as you can see there is no account present here there is an option create an account you have to create a select that option <laughs> and uh, you need to fill the basic details like uh, this is a new customer for example you are acting like a customer and providing details accordingly so put your company name firewall again uh, that is what i refer here the account name is optional but uh, give it details uh, the industry you are in basically we are into the uh, information technology or the it but here you can select as per your uh, company details so i'll be selecting uh, something like others uh, the size is small so for now I'll giving like less than 10 and the website name so I'm just giving a random website name uh, which I was I mean I had created uh, back then but you need to have something valid here so give the website name uh, then then you have a telephone number provide the uh, your telephone number and the is a company is uh, controlled by the government agency no uh, the address details put the address where you reside or where where is your company is right now uh, then put the city country zip code what are the details needed over there and the account will create once you specify all those details and just submit it and it will pop you up for the account got created sort of message let me scroll it up yeah the account is got created you have the number and the rest of the details now we'll go back to the uh, product evaluation page and over there we'll be selecting the uh, this account and we'll be creating the uh, license file so here all in one next now in the drop down list you'll be able to see the your account select that account give the management server IP address for now uh, which is 192.168.1.100 and the purpose of the evaluation uh, so give it like uh, what is exactly your purpose for now I am giving like a uh, evaluation of the software blade feature and then click accept the policies what they have and then you need to click get evaluation uh, uh, which is located at the bottom of your page as you can see uh, yeah details is correct let me click get evaluation yes And in the background, the license uh, generation process is happening. So let's wait for a couple of minutes to get license generated. Uh, in a minute it will show you up that the license is got generated and you can ready to use it for your lab purpose yeah it's got generated if you little bit scroll up it will give you the message that your edition has been successfully added to the UC account and if you come down uh, at top uh, I mean all the way to the bottom there is something called back to the evolution and get license file so if you click uh, get license file the license files 
will be email to your account and from here also it will get downloaded so both the options are there so if you see the file is getting downloaded and next step is that uh, you need to go to the CLI uh, from there you have to uh, copy paste the instructions for the uh, license details uh, I mean copy paste the license details uh, using the uh, command uh, for the license to be entered and then uh, you can see the license is get generated so this is how uh, if you open that uh, license file this is how it looks and uh, basically you need to put these details into the uh, CLI to get the license file generated so the better option is that go to the, your email I uh, email uh, go to the, your email and from there uh, the license file uh, the license file is sent to you from there you can you know uh, get the details about the the commands and the steps how you can you know get the license details in place so this is also the option where you can keep the put the license details there's something called license and status under the web UI maintenance option offline here also you can you know copy paste these details uh, uh, from here you can have your uh, license imported as well uh, this is a kind of a choice where uh, this is a kind of tough choice I believe better go to the CLI and put the details otherwise if you don't have the CLI option as well you can you know, just come here and uh, put your license details so I'll be going to the CLI now and from the CLI I am going to put the license details so log into the CLI uh, you can uh, perform this action from the expert mode right now I can see the lock is enabled acquired by the admin so let me get it uh, override uh, now as I said go to the your email id over there you will get the license file details from there as well uh, you will be having the entire syntax for the license copy details or you can copy paste it from here uh, it's uh, up to the, your choice but let me uh, go to the uh, uh, email id and from there uh, copy paste the details i'm just logging to my uh, email id if you see uh, i think the f the email is generated from the checkpoint side but that you know entered into the uh, i believe in a junk folder uh, maybe the the outlook has not recognized the site so if you go to the junk folder yeah if you see there there is a email from the user center and the details about the licensing part so simply if you don't remember the command just come here and uh, copy paste the details so there is different options they have given how you can put the keys into the uh, uh, into the C from the CLI mode I mean generate the license from the CLI mode just copy paste the details into the uh, your SMS CLI from the expert mode uh, this is I am in export mode I am just copy pasting details and once that is done just press enter and it will give you the message that okay this license is what we have done I mean we have created is got uh, uh, put it into the SMS so now I am just logging to the SMS and I wanted to go to a smart update option and from there I want you to see uh, the license file and from here uh, you need to go to the license and contracts uh, where you will see the licensing details as you can see on a, a top after the package management there is something called license and contract 
uh, from license and contracts uh, you will get the uh, details for the license so click that and as you can see the license what we are seeing here uh, it's still showing the today's date but there is a key uh, which you can you know uh, link your files so you just have to come to the gateway uh, select the uh, we have the I think our uh, SMS license in place so select the uh, SMS and uh, select the SMS and right click and say attach license uh, or the gate license sorry select the gate license and you will get uh, license details here so this is how you can uh, you know extend your 15 days lab uh, I mean trial license uh, for your lab to 30 days so guys, uh, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. So whatever the latest lab video will come to you as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.